What is up, KP Squad? Gang, 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 gang. Oh my gosh, I miss y'all, no cap. But I just wanted to jump in and do like a little intro, y'all, because I know this vlog is kind of like well overdue. But make sure y'all go watch part one. Watch part one so y'all know what the heck is going on. Um, we're giving very much day in Vegas, which is a music festival. It's a three-day festival, so that's why I'm giving y'all three parts. And I recorded so much footage, y'all. Like, so much footage, but it's literally not me talking. So, that is why I want to jump in and out the video so that I can give y'all the real tea. Like, it's giving cute, aesthetically pleasing montage, but I really want to let y'all know, like, some tips and tricks and, like, stuff that y'all need to know. Because to me, people be watching travel vlogs so they know what to do when they go travel. And that's what I want to give y'all information. So, go ahead and enjoy the video. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is day two. Day two. We in here getting ready. Thank you. Hey y'all, I got my scarf on because I'm trying to get these edges to lay down. She's just getting right. Yeah. But yeah, we think about going to a few places on the strip. And then we have our lineup for today. We're gonna go a little later. Yeah. That's what it's giving. Per. It's giving a little per. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Wasn't that cute? That was so cute. So, me and my girl Trinity enjoyed our day, like our daytime activities before we went to the festival. Of course, we could have just went to the festival by all means the entire day. But, you know, at the beginning, y'all, it be artists that you don't really know. Obviously, that's an opportunity to discover them. But I'm trying to go see the people I really want to see. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to pick and choose anyway. But I'm going to get to that later. One thing I will say, y'all, don't be like us and be waking up aimlessly like, yes, let's figure out what we're going to do, where we're going to go. No, you need to plan ahead because we surely did not do that. We literally only had planned on going to the festival. But this is my girl first time in Vegas. Like we're in Vegas. We gotta we gotta live it up. So we want to explore this city a little bit. So for one, make sure y'all book reservations. Like flights, that restaurant that we went to for brunch, very nice. Love the aesthetic. It was inside of a mall and the mall was trippy. Like the ceiling was like the sky, but it was inside What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? We had to wait like 30 minutes with no waiting area or nothing. We just had to stand up and wait um, because we didn't have reservations. So that was like mm, not the best. But other than that, I give that place a 10 out of 10. When most of flights was on point, I ordered the chicken and waffles. That was very good. And they also had a photographer that was there. I mean, obviously you had to pay for the photos, but the photos were A1. I ain't never looked so good. Oh my gosh. Them pictures turned out very, very good. So then after that, we went to go to the Bellagio Fountain Hotel area. Like that whole little area is just so pretty. Like at this point, I think Vegas just wanna give you attraction. Like they just wanna 
give you something to see like that just is what it is and i just think the fountain was really pretty good little photo op opportunity as well as the hotel like they just got this i can't even explain it y'all see it in the footage it's literally just random stuff it's pretty but it's like why would a hotel need this but nevertheless that's where we went then we started walking the strip and we went to the back of the Bellagio Hotel, it was Caesar's Palace. And I was like, oh, like Caesar's Palace from all the movies, like that's so popular. So we ended up going inside. We went up, went up. they got all these different floors with different casinos and stuff. We just walked through the casino. But y'all, we started just walking around aimlessly and that's where we messed up. So we Ubered and Lyft everywhere because we didn't have no car or anything. And when we went to Caesar's Palace, for some reason, we were on the back side, so they didn't know where we were at. So we were standing outside waiting for them. At this point, we had a time crunch because now we're trying to make our way to the festival. So I, I, the way we got lost was really stressful, but we made it out. Everything was good. I will say, if you want to rent a car, you could. But I'm going to just let you know, it's going to be traffic regardless. I do feel like they was taking our money with these Ubers and Lyfts. Like, it was like nickel and diamond us every single time we had to go somewhere. But I don't think it was so bad to where I would be like, get a rental car. I'm just saying, because it's parking ain't even like that. Parking ain't even like that either. So, pick your poison at this point. So, y'all, one thing I will say, as y'all know, Vegas is very much like... Uh, it's almost like Hollywood, but it's like a knockoff. So it's so many people out there just trying to make money from entertainment. So the people are out there trying to get your photos. Like they're going to like kind of like haggle you to get the photos and stuff. So these girls walked up to us. I was like, okay, yeah, like that would be a cute picture with the little Balex ladies or whatever. And I mean, it was cute. Like I got a little boomerang, got a little picture. Y'all see I got a little footage. Bet. And then they like oh yeah um you can tip us then y'all instead of just being like oh yeah tip whatever you think is um you know what you want to give whatever she's like yeah people usually um tip us eighty dollars eighty dollars for for a picture girl you're not even that cute you're not even that cute <laughs> you're not even that cute well just as i thought trash so i i mean i cash them a little cash app them a little something simply because i know this is like their job or whatever because they said they work through a company and they take a percentage out of the money that they receive blah 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 for all that i didn't even need no picture trinity wanted to get a picture with mickey and minnie mouse y'all i don't know what it was but when we got up close to them people in the suits it started to weird me out like i just didn't like it so after our little daytime activities we finally made it back to our hotel and we got ready for the festival and let's just go ahead and get into that footage <laughs> the day in vegas festival y'all it was the bomb.com it was some people that i didn't even think that i was gonna really be feeling that i was feeling and i'm gonna just let y'all know victoria monet was the best performer of the entire festival in my opinion that we was able to see because i literally missed tiana taylor and jasmine sullivan and ari lennox kill me but whatever 
um one thing i want to tell one one thing i want to let y'all know is that okay so a few things i want to let y'all know about the festival so for one there's three different stages um it's kind of like not in the middle of the city but like you literally see like the city but it's city buildings around like it's actually really pretty and it's just this open area and they have plenty of stuff y'all when y'all go to these like two day three day festivals y'all they go all out they have all this like just honestly i'm gonna be honest y'all it's a lot of random stuff that they put at these festivals aside from just the concert like there's like a little club vibe there's plenty of food vendors there's um sometimes they have rides like they just have like random stuff okay it's plenty of other things you can do other than just watch the concert so that's one fyi i give day in vegas their props 100 percent because they stayed on their schedule to the t like at the five minute mark when it's supposed to um go to the next thing when i say they were on time the stage is starting to flip to the next artist on time whether the artist came late or not you get your time slot and that's it so let's say they let's say an artist were to come late and it was like 15 minutes late you only got a 45 minute set so that means now you only have the remaining 30 minutes to perform and that's just it and i love that about them i love that about them i will say the last artist of the night which is usually the headliners of these festivals they're usually never on time never on time and you're always gonna have to wait for them but that's the literally the only artist that you have to wait for is like the people at the end but it makes sense because you know we gonna wait for the headliner duh now the three stages y'all i will say give you three different vibes the first stage i will say like it's really close knit like it just seemed like it was maybe for like smaller artists in my opinion even though there were some heavy hitters on that stage so i don't know how they were picking who to be on what stage and i think the second stage it was like under this like cover or like tent space or whatever that was the best stage because you can get the closest like you can get right up to the stage love that victoria monet was on there and i loved it i had i loved it then the third stage which is the biggest stage and that is the stage where the headliners be on there y'all that's the worst stage no cap like whatever stage is gonna be the headliner like how you want to go and see kendrick lamar let's just go ahead and tell you i'm gonna just go ahead and tell you all the truth you're probably not gonna see him like that like i'm gonna be real like the biggest stage is gonna have the most space it's gonna be so many people like you're gonna be way back unless you push up to the front even pushing up to the front is like od to the front like we're talking about like a block away and this one y'all they literally had like i think a screen like some type of screen or maybe it was like a section or something like that smack in the middle of the um area so let's say this is the stage this is the back like at the end where they kind of like had a food and stuff this is as far back as you can go and then like right here in the middle was like some type of screen or something that literally went all the way up so you cannot see the performer at all so unless you looked on this side or on this side you literally could not actually see the artist like you had to look at it through the screens I thought that was very ghetto. Two big things about festivals that y'all need to know. So when you're trying to find somewhere to stand, and if you don't know, everything is standing. <laughs> you need to look at these festival grounds before you get there, because most of it is always standing. You stand the entire day, the entire day, okay? You stand up for each artist. It's gonna be back to back to back. You're gonna wanna be over here, wanna be over there, you gotta check the schedule. But one of the biggest advice I could give y'all is like, I know some people like to push up to the front now. If you feel like you can push all the way to the front like and i mean first row do that but if you can't and you feel like you're gonna be maybe like four rows back and this is made up rows y'all rows back you probably not gonna be able to see especially if you're not tall like somebody's gonna stand in front of you that's tall and you're not gonna be able to see you're gonna be like dipping dodging a head that's what you're gonna be doing so my advice and this is like the best thing that we were able to do is kind of like stand back so 
if there is a person right let's say this is the stage and like this is like the first couple rows if you can space out just a little bit like so that you're like a little bit ways behind like a crowd of people is perfect day in vegas had this perfect setup where like they were putting a security like a little security area emergency area which was needed y'all because people was passing out no cap it was given the travis scott stuff is real people really do be passing out people really do be like sick like all types of stuff but like luckily because of that incident like every time there's something going on everybody's like we need help right here we need help right here performers be mentioning like help help that person right there get security get the medics like they're like really like like i had all the festivals that i've been to it's never been any issue with that like they will save the people and make sure they good but because they had like this little security area in the middle it's like a space and like standing literally right at the gates of the security is perfect because it gives you that space between y'all don't gotta understand what i'm saying but when y'all go to concerts y'all gonna know what i'm talking about that is how you do it that is how you're able to see make sure y'all lock in with that one for real because that's really gonna help you then for two look at all the conditions of the concert like especially when it comes to security stuff so if they're saying it's a clear back policy do the clear back policy if they say don't bring in this don't bring in that don't do it like just go off of the list go strictly off of the list okay don't go off of the list don't be thinking like oh like i can finesse like if you think you can finesse like the most you can do you can put something in your clothes that's the most you can do i know everybody was talking about weed and stuff but you know who cares nobody cares about that anymore that's not even a big deal it's not a big deal anymore so if you want to do that that's fine but if you want to bring in like i don't know liquor and stuff like that just <laughs> Just don't even do it girl don't even do it and like make sure you have like the stuff so like if like i know for this concert they wanted proof of your vaccine card they had like this whole app y'all that you can like pre-register like your vaccine card and stuff and then i got out there and there's no service oh that's a big thing y'all there will be no service while you're on the festival grounds i repeat there will be no service no service you no call going out no text going out no wi-fi no none of that so one pro tip that i was doing is i was posting on instagram but i would just save the footage as drafts so i would be clicking it right on instagram because i hate recording separate videos and then like having to upload it to instagram stuff like that so i was recording it right from my story and then i would save it to my drafts and i just post it when i get back to the hotel because there's no service with the calls if you were a group you just had to stick with the group no cap you just, you just gonna have to stick with the group and if you don't you just gonna have to stay put and have them find you because there's literally no service like and like the call may go through like maybe once maybe twice but you don't want to be lost like you just don't want to be lost so you just need to stick with the group or stick with your person don't be straying away that is really big i'm glad i thought about that so now we're gonna get into you know the after hours y'all so when i say like when we went to vegas i was just like bro like we only here for like four days three days or whatever we need to live it up so i was like we need to go to the club like for sure so we went to the club y'all let me take you out to the club
Guess who's back, 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 back again. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let me tell y'all is now about this club, y'all, because honestly, y'all, y'all won't believe this for real. We went to the club. It was about 20 minutes away. When I say we was tired, child, we was tired. But we went back to the hotel and we got dressed and we headed back out. I was like, I had to, I had to like get Trinity. I was like, girl, we gotta go. We gotta go. Because this is our last opportunity to go. We need to go ahead and go. And I'm so glad we went. Like when I say we was tired, but we was like really pushing it. We, we was pushing it. But here is the tea, y'all. So in Vegas. The clubs are very much women driven. So if you're a man, most likely they're gonna look at you crazy and gonna have to charge you like buku money. But this is what you need to do, y'all. When you go to Vegas, you need to be on a guest list. That's how you get in, okay? You need to be on the guest list. So how do you get on the guest list, Kendra? Hmm, I'm glad you asked. So basically, y'all, uh, this is something that I found on YouTube like weeks before I went on this trip because I don't play about knowing what's going on on where I'm going. So I reached out to this guy, y'all. He is like a party promoter. I'm gonna link his details down in the description below. But I hit him up on Instagram. I even hit him up last minute at that. I hit him up the same day that I went out. Or well, I hit him up the same day that we went to the club, y'all. And basically he'll ask you like, you know, how many people do you have in your party? What type of club do you wanna go to? Like, you would say like, you wanna go to an urban club if you wanna hear like, you know, our kind of music you know what i'm saying or you can go to like some of those larger clubs that's like where the celebrities be at but they'll play like all different types of music so like you have to like let him know what type of vibe you're going for and he'll like put you on the guest list y'all so now your name is on the guest list y'all it's a simple process my guy is straight into the point i thought maybe he wasn't gonna hook us up but no cap it was an easy thing i just literally dm this man and he was able to get us on a guest list and we got in for free again for free no price yes we are women and i would want to try this again when we had guys but nevertheless it says like he asked you how many people are in your party so it don't matter whether you girls or guys like he'll let you know so went to this nice club it was actually in a hotel i've never been in a club that nice ever in my life y'all and they had like I don't know like it was like two floors they had vip sections um they had like sparklers going they had the balls throwing it y'all just never seen anything like it y'all see the footage like i was living my best life and at first i was kind of like i don't know because it's definitely a different crowd than what i'm used to like i'm from richmond mm, these are not the same people i see in the club like it wasn't ghetto like that's just said that it was not ghetto it was very much upscale but you know we just like giving general admission so of course we was like on the floor and like anybody could be on the floor so just think about it like that i don't know anything about a section i'm pretty sure you can talk to my plug about the section we tried to get drinks y'all because i simply was like you know it's just been a long day and i just wanted to be a little turnt so we just ordered shots don't buy no drink there don't buy no drink there them drinks was twenty dollars a piece twenty dollars a piece no ma'am i would never do that again if i would have known i wouldn't even order it but i was just like you know we need a little something and i feel like that was watered down for sure but whatever nevertheless it was a good time y'all did it was a dj's birthday that night and they had like his name cascaded around like the the like the ceiling of the yeah i don't know y'all i just never seen nothing like this like i was just so turned i just kept on like I kept on telling Trina, like, I just can't believe we're here. Like, I just can't believe we're here. Like, it just feel like this is a dream. Like, we're not actually here, but we was in there, baby. We was in there. So, the DJ was turned because it was his birthday. Freaking Flip De Niro came out and performed. Like, the Leave Me Alone. And, y'all, that, that was my song at a certain point. That's what I'm saying. Like, Vegas is a place to be, bro. I need to go back oh i need to go back but one of the things i want to mention y'all is like in the bathroom i tried to show y'all but they had all type of stuff you can think of everything that you need the ordering lotion pads tampons then they had water candy all type of stuff anything you need and it was a lady in there working i think she was just working off her tips in the bathroom y'all in the bathroom <sighs> just thinking about it y'all i just 
I had such a good time. We had such a good time. But this is just day two. I'm going to let y'all know about day three. And make sure I ain't even getting nothing off my list. I think that's everything that y'all need to know, honey. I give Vegas 10 out of 10. Trip ain't even over. I got to let y'all know what happened next. But make sure y'all take in my tips, y'all. Everybody don't know this information. Everybody don't look this stuff up. I look it up. I'm going to look it up for you. I'm experiencing it for you. So y'all know what's up. I'm going to spill the tea every time every time nevertheless i see y'all in the next one please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you're not subscribed to my channel i don't know what you're doing but i know you want to see more of me and y'all can catch me in part three friends take me back to vegas please take me back to vegas whoever want to go to vegas let's go <laughs> let's go to vegas baby all right bro i gotta go hopefully the audio all right because i just couldn't take it with no air girl What's up? I gotta go. Deuces.